Hello everyone or welcome to another beautiful section of today's video. Today we want to look at this particular crossover as you can see with me here. This is a four-weight crossover, okay? So uh, the problem is it's not coming up at all. Um, when I test it, I find out the fault, but I just decide to make this video for those of you that want to learn how to detect fault and most especially to test if your voting regulator is okay or not. Let me adjust this camera. Okay, uh, let me remove this first. If you look at what we have here, we have a voted regulator. You can see this is 2915A, the other one is 2815A. So this is a 15 vote regulator. That is, a voter will come in, but it's going to supply 15 vote output. Then the other one will be 15 vote. Just that one is dealing, this is dealing with the negative one, while this is dealing with the positive. So, uh, for now, we are still looking at why is it not coming up. So I want to show you. So uh, the first thing is get your power cable. This is my power cable here. So let me plug it in. I want to show you the step by step how to fix such issue. So uh, let me use a book here so we don't bridge uh, this board. But some of those material can be very sensitive so uh get your power cable plugged in so let's plug this in so this is currently plugged let me see it's on now so first thing is check is there any voted coming in so take your multimeter set it to ac no this yeah ac so i'm expecting something like 20 or something so this is my multimeter you're showing so take your probe then go to the output of the transformer this is the transformer output here uh, this is the output so let's check it out if it is the transformer is okay or not so that is how to detect fault so the middle is the center negative so well so put your probe one leg there i believe you are seeing the way i'm doing it, and then the other one here You see that now. Ten is coming up yet. Since I'm coming. Okay. Uh, since I not plugged away, let's check back. This is I'm coming. This is a negative rotate. This is the positive. See nothing is coming. Nothing. So let me see. see. So let's check back. It seems I not plug it away. So the negative one is here. This is a negative. Let's check now. See? voltage is coming up is I did not plug it where then so this is giving me 7.8 the other side 7.8 so if you combine the two that is giving us roughly 16 volts uh, yes so the transformer is working we don't have issue with the transformer so why is it not coming up uh, the issue is the voltage regulator is bad it's bad but uh, how do we know it is the booted regulator plug this in so once it is plugged this is the voted regulator out here uh, you can see this two this one and the other one there but for easy reading let's just turn it upside down a bit so you can see what I'm doing be careful when you are with electricity <laughs> can be very funny all right so you have that there now. So go to your DC, set your multimeter to DC. Let me adjust this way. All right. So these are the two voted regulator. This is the first one. This is the second one. But it, because everything that is coming there would have converted to DC. So the issue is that the DC is not coming up. So let's check what is going on there. So I've set my multimeter to DC mode this area. Okay, 
So take your probe. Remember the middle will always be negative. So that is the ground. So there must be input and there must be output. So let's see. Oh, switch off, sorry. So let's check now. This is my negative. I do have input of 5 points. Let's see the other side. See the output. This one, because if you look at it, uh, don't worry, I will still explain the. Okay, I have one here. Yeah? The voltage regulator, the way it works is this. I'm sorry, my camera. Okay, you see this side, the middle will always be the ground. This will be the input and this will be the output. So your ground will come here, your input, your output. But remember, we've turned this upside down. So it's inverse. So it's like this now. So this is my input before. So it's at this side. So the voltage is getting in. So that is what it's trying to tell you. The voltage is getting in, but nothing is coming out. You can see what is coming out, 0, 0.0. So it will never give. So the negative transistor is bad. But let's see this side this is my negative let's see the input the input is 15.5 let's see is it giving us output the output is 14.1 you see this one is good so that is just how to test it